Hello and welcome! My name is Ajax Post and we're playing Transport Fever 2 on my Bristol map. And it's been a while since we last looked at this and it's changed. Yes, this is my headquarters. You can tell it's mine because it says Ajax Post Transport on the big and impressive sign just sat outside of it. It used to be basically a wooden shack, um, but at some point in the last couple of years or something, it has been upgraded. And to my shame, I don't know why. <laughs> Whether it upgraded because uh, I have achieved a good company score. Whether it's because the value of my company is has reached a particular uh, point. A particular value. Or simply the age. It I hit the 1890s or something. I don't know. But it did. It just turned... I just went to look at it at the end of the last episode. And I thought, oh my goodness. It's proper stone built with, with fountain and proper fences and everything. And I'm just so impressed. Well, yeah, I just thought we'd have a look at that. It's been so many years since we last looked at it. So what do we have to do? First off today, uh, a little bit of a, an admission, which some of you noticed. Hi, Adam. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't the only person, but Adam was the one person who mentioned it in the comments. I created my first part of the Bristol and South Wales Union Railway which used a line, a line up here from uh, from Avonmouth, Seven Beach into Pilning or it's actually New Passage which was a little little hamlet I think somewhere off on the coast near Pilning across here to Port Skerritt or Port Skewitt uh, near Caldicott uh, so train up there, ferry across the river uh, and then a train line from Caldicott up to Chepstow, which I all put in. And then, in my enthusiasm to get everything else working, I forgot to actually buy a train. Yeah. Can, can you say, blithering idiot? Can you play, say, plank? Or can you say, how could you possibly forget that? I don't know, but I didn't. I'm sorry. So, we may fix that today. Well, I, I'm, I do want to fix that today. But... Rather than spending money, because I was running a bit short, as you may recall at the end of the last episode, uh, in terms of my finances, I put on a replacement bus service. So I have the Chepstow to Caldicott replacement service running, uh, which is... Um, is it making any money yet? It possibly isn't. No. Okay. I, th I think the buses did take a while to get into service. But while we're actually looking at figures, let's actually look at, uh, yeah, how are we doing? Yeah, that train line, oh, I did actually put two trains on there to start with, on the Bristol and South Wales line. I cut that back to, to one, because there really was no point having two on there. That I was just being stupid, it was a ridiculous idea. Uh, that's losing a lot of money. The Seven uh, Ferry is losing money. Uh, everything on there is losing money, but oh, that's the way of it. Now, the first thing I want to do, and we touched on this uh, at the beginning of the last episode, is we have a number of stations uh, like Bedminster here, like Bristol Temple Meads, uh, less, less so Canesham and Bath now, though interestingly Bath is now providing passengers for the, uh, the Bristol main line, which is really good. Um, but yeah, this, this line down from Bristol to Nailsy and Backwell is getting very, very busy. So the first thing I want to do is put a third train on there. Now the trains on this line are already... Um, they're, they're fairly sizable in terms of capacity, 42. They're not the fastest or most powerful of trains, which I think is part of the problem. But basically they come here and they don't pick up many people at all. Okay, you do going in that direction, but less so in the other direction. <laughs> I do hate it when I say something and then the game immediately contradicts me. I mean, it, it is so annoying. Anyway, I want to... Uh, let's clone that train. Uh, did I do something else, actually, with the signalling for that line? I think I might, might have... I did have to fix the signalling around here because I had totally screwed it up. But that was probably for the previous episode and I'm just remembering another embarrassing moment <laughs> there's so many uh yeah so we need to clone this train but that is going to take quite an amount of money uh, if i go in here 
About three and a half million. Okay. I have, over the nine or so months since the end of the last episode, I have paid back, in fact, all the loans. So I've got access to all 10 million if I need it. So is that going to be enough to clone that vehicle? Yes, it is. All right. So train 12. Where are you? There he is. Uh, we have turned over a new year into 1893, but there were no new vehicles uh, with that new year. So we're still on the, the same old, same old. But they are lovely vehicles nonetheless, but uh, yeah, <laughs> nothing new and exciting. There's always something, you know, there's always that frisson of excitement, isn't there, when you get new vehicles into the catalogue. How many people have we got waiting? Yeah, it's interesting actually because that line, the, the, the line south down to Nailsey and Backwell, which will eventually go on to Western Supermare and Highbridge, uh, has picked up a lot more passenger traffic than the old Bristol main line to Bath. So it's interesting to see how demand changes, how the, the profitable lines change. Anyway, let's get on with what I want to do today. Now, Another comment on the last video, after I've set up this old line, and it is an old line that didn't last very long, to be honest, in real in real life, as it were. This ferry service did a, did a bit of a good job, but was fairly quickly replaced by the Severn Tunnel. I hadn't actually realised the Severn Tunnel had been built so many years ago. It was built 1960s, sorry, 1860s, 1870s, somewhere around there. So it was ages ago, and I'm well past it. I should be using the Seven Tunnel by now if I was actually playing this game in, as it were, real time. But I'm not, so I haven't. But yeah, in addition to the Seven Tunnel and this old ferry service, there was actually a bridge up here, the old Seven uh, Railway Bridge, which connected basically the Forest of Dean, which is this bit down here, to the docks at Sharpness. Now this map doesn't have Sharpness on here, but there were apparently docks here. Um, and it also allowed traffic to cut across the river here, uh, up to Gloucester, up that way, and again down to Bristol. Uh, and was in fact for many years still used as, as a replacement service or an alternative when they had to close the Seven Tunnel for engineering works. So what I'd like to do at some point is actually put that bridge in there. It may not last forever, we, we shall see. But the first step to that is putting a railway, railway line up here to Lydney. Now, I do now have, oh, I did have over two million in the bank, but uh, I've, well, I've nearly got that now. So let me just pause this game so that uh, nothing terribly untoward happens while I go through building. So, the bridge, I think, because I, I wanted to take uh, trains from Lydney to Cam, and then from Cam up here to these towns to the very top, the very north of the map. So I think I'll want the train station to probably be coming in along here. Actually, we could connect it in to the industry here. So it could serve, that would be good actually. It could serve as a dual, a mixed consist station serving both passengers and cargo. The, the line was originally mainly cargo, mainly freight. As I say, minerals, wood and stuff from the forest out here to the docks. So this is quite good actually. So if that then comes up there, around there, and then into Cam and on up. Okay, so I think actually what we'll do is we won't actually place a railway station near Lydney. We'll place it nearer the industrial site here, the steel mill. Uh, so but to do that, I think let's take out these roads. Just to give me some room. Uh, let's put in our train station. Now, I didn't do this deliberately, to be honest. It was kind of an accident. Uh, but when I place down... It's... Why? You look like a default station. Oh, for goodness. I really wasn't paying attention in the last ep the end of the last episode, was I? It must be Caldicott, or Port Stewart, rather. Oh, no, that is brown. Now, for some reason, I thought I'd, I'd changed it to green, which is the default colour for for the uh, for 
for the UK station mod that we've got in here. But I think I, I will actually do that. I will change it to green for the Welsh side of these lines. Uh, so, when we build this station, it will be a through station, it will be green. It will be a small building. We will put two... We'll actually put one track on there, I think. The platform length is good. So how does that work for me? So I think if we put you in like that, then what we'll do is we will have the cargo, the freight side of the station uh, closer to the obviously the industry and we'll have the passenger buildings as it were facing Lydney itself. So if we put you down here somewhere, then we're well within reach of the steel mill. So let's get you uh, a bit like that I think. Okay, let's try that. Tracks. Uh, we'll use Kirby track because, well, because we're doing that. Uh, is that green? It is green. Yes. There, there's a kind of green to the default station, which is obviously what confused the heck out of me. So we'll take you round about here. Now we might actually have the cargo. The, the, is that stone or coal? That'd be coal, won't it? We might have that station here on the other side of the industry to this rail line. So if we put you in here, we'll bring you down here. This is all looking very good. So as you can see, we've already got ferries taking logs and planks and stuff across the water. That might eventually become, might eventually be transported by train, which would presumably be more efficient. I think that's okay. Um, I do have. Oh, <laughs> you can't click click any other buttons uh, if you uh, if you build when you're building. Uh, I did actually put the line in. Uh, what the, uh, there it is the South Wales main line. Uh, you're going into that second track there. No, I think you could go to the other platform actually. Uh, manage the line and you can go to line one except you can't connect to that line because there are no switches okay let's put those in I think while we're here otherwise I'll just uh, I'll get confused and, and mess it up when <laughs> I come to, to finish these lines off so if we put you in there like that like that. Yeah, the exclamation mark has gone, so that's looking fine. The the line will now work. I think what we can do here, we, what we can pretend is that this brown coloured station here uh, near uh, Caldicott is actually owned by the Great Western. Yeah, who were, I think, who actually did own the Bristol and South Wales Union Railway, uh, or took it over. Trouble is, railway history. I, I, it's been an incredible. Well, thank you so much for all of you who have commented on the videos and prompted me to look into the history of railways in this area. It really is fascinating how badly managed they were, how inadequate their financing was, and <laughs> how much rivalry, competitiveness, and downright dirty business dealings there was going on. Um, which all eventually led to basically Great Western owning pretty much everything in this part of the world. Let's uh, get you down. I don't need this track to be double tracked. Yep, though I'm sure I probably will double track it very soon. <laughs> um, what we'll do, we will, yeah, we'll double track out here. We'll put the extra track in here actually on this station so if we can figure you and put some tracks down that's what I'm looking for uh, now these may well be attached to a cargo platform on the other side but for now they just give me something to connect my standard track to which is all I'm after at this point 
so that should I actually end up having two trains on this line, which probably will happen fairly soon, uh, I can have them passing each other as they approach each end of the station. Okay, so I should have left that on because I want signals. There you go. And likewise at the other end. Oh, it's a long way away. <laughs> mm. uh, oh, there you are. So you're going in the other direction. I mean, that is, that is actually a very... That is quite a long stretch of track. I th yeah, I th we will put a passing place in there. What we might do here. I mean, this this could we could fit the station in there. I think, couldn't we? But we'll actually put the passing track on the other side for now, while I make my mind up and decide what the heck I'm actually going to be doing. You know me. I I have sort of plans, and then when it comes to it, I forget what they were and do it differently anyway. I didn't connect that up. You great idiot. Right, that's better. Right, the signal there. So put the signal in there. And now we won't put signal at the other end, in the middle. I was thinking of putting signals in the middle as well, because it's a fairly long piece of passing track. Okay, so we now have... We can now send that... Uh, actually, no, that does... Ah, oh, truth. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Because <laughs> this this line, this South Wales line, will be going up to Lydney anyway. So, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's manage this. So, from Chepstow, it goes out here to Lydney. Then it goes back to Chepstow. And then makes its way back to Port, Port Skewit Pier. Now this really should enable the ferry and the rest of the Bristol and Wales South Union, so the Bristol and South Wales Union Railway, to make money. Uh, I need some signals in here. Yeah, I know everyone tells me you should make them one way. I'll do that now. It's just that I always forget to change them and then they work anyway usually if they're Where's that? Let me put the... Oh, it's auto-saving, that's why. I keep forgetting that. When, when you see, why is it not doing anything? And I get in a huff, and I get frustrated, and I get confused. I'm very easily confused. Ah, right, there we are. We'll put you there. And we'll put another pair of signals up here. There we go. And going into the station. That's it. And we'll have a set coming out. Uh, we could actually have sets going in and out of here, couldn't we? Uh, actually, going in, no. We what? Uh, mm. No, we could. We could, because they're not turning around. So that's. I think that's okay. So we could have you waiting outside the station there. You know, the train's not going to be so long, it's going to go over that switch, is it? Okay, now, the next thing is where the heck am I going to put my depot? Because these trains are certainly not going to be coming in from Bristol. Which is where all my depots are at the moment. Uh, Lydney seems like a plausible choice, actually. Seeing as we're likely to be using... Uh, this industry here. They, they would fit within that environ, would they not? Yes, I think they would. So, where are we going to stick this depot? What we could do is stick it, I think, if we put it in down here. Uh, depots, there you go. Oh, a new British depot. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at do it, see what that did. Uh, that's, is that the Badisher train depot? Yeah, we're not going to be using that one just yet. Here's the British one. How different is that to the ordinary one? 
not significantly, but it, it yeah, it looks it looks different. That that's good. So if we slip you around here somewhere. And then we could have you feeding the trains into the station from there. Or do I want you up here? No, let's put you up here. Let's put you up here, I think. I think that that makes some sort of sense to me. Yeah, I'm not entirely convinced either, but there you go. And we'll also have that other track going in there. This is likely to all change, of course, when the uh, when the cargo gets, or when we put in the bridge across, because the track will have to go around there. Right, uh, that's that line. So, well, let's connect this uh, station up, shall we? Let's put a bit of road in. going to just have it connecting in like that or do we want a run alongside it I think we probably just have a road up to the station a bit like that but better looking than that that's an awful bit of road okay uh, yeah okay Let's uh, take you. We will actually upgrade you. You have to be a proper size road. Uh, can we? Let's take you from the other side. That might work better, actually. Up there. I think. Okay, let's we'll take that road to there. I'd rather have this sort of more central. Looks like I'm not entirely happy with that either. No, nor you. Okay, we'll do you. That looks a little bit better, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we need a bus stop. Uh, we'll put a proper bus stop in there. You're going. Yeah, we'll stick you in there. So, Lydney. Where do we want to go? We need a bit of road here, I think. Let's connect you up. Can't really operate bus services without having a loop, unless you want it to look very silly indeed. Uh, okay, so we will have. Oh, lovely inclines. Excellent. <laughs> and we'll have you there. And we'll have one there as well, just to show willing. I probably don't need it because we're, that's, that area is already covered, but it doesn't hurt. So we'll have a new line from there to there, there, and there. Okay, and this will be called... We'll just call it the Lydney Station route, I think. That will do. Uh, it does mean I will want a depot as well. Hmm. Let's put you... Actually, where's the industry here? Well, that's fine. It, yeah, up this end. That will do nicely. Okay, that's, that's nice and cheap. Good out of the way of the residential areas, which is how we like it. So we'll buy uh, some land hours. Yep. Uh, we probably only want two or three. Yeah. And we'll put you on the Lydney station line. All right. I'm going to need more money. Buy me that train. Right, and this is a fair old route, isn't it? All the way down there. And the likelihood, because Chepstow is quite a large place. And Caldicott isn't small either, actually. We've only got 50% growth. We've well, got less than that in Chepstow. Uh, so, 
they could go, grow quite spectacularly as we saw when we put the Seven Valley line together. Uh, so we we'll probably want a fairly powerful train that will carry a good amount of passengers. So you go 60, you're 520, 70. Do we want you to go 70? You're not as powerful though. No, you're too slow. 68, that's better. Actually, you're quite good. You're you're even more powerful. Who have we got up here? 75. Um, yeah. I have a suspicion that 68 kind of is going to be a good speed. Yeah, we're getting old there. Uh, so we can either go 75 with a moderately powerful loco, the Caledonian. Not exactly Caledonian though, are we, in South Wales? So, I have suspicion this is actually... A, no, that's we're not using that one. It was this one. Yeah, this is definitely not a base game vehicle. Uh, I think we will do that. London and the Southwest. Yeah, a little bit out of its territory, but uh, I think we're okay with that. Uh, the attractive effort is different, but I don't believe there's that many... There's that much of an incline issue on that line. Famous last words. Uh, you. Let's, yeah, let's, let's go for you, I think. So we'll take one of you. And what wagons shall we use? A hundred. No, we're not going a hundred. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. Sixty. Yeah, looks like... We're going to have to have an expensive 75 mile an hour capable wagon on here. So it's either the 15 capacity or the 18. Oh, let's go. Let's let's spend that money. Oh, they're, they're over a million each. Gosh. <laughs> I'm going to need more money, I think. Uh, okay, and we'll use a different colour. We'll, we'll go the green as opposed to the brown we've been using previously. So we'll stick one of you on. Um, you're a B front brake. Uh, oh, you're an A, a ducket front brake. Oh, I oh. But no, we won't do another front brake. Oh, yeah, we'll do one of you. Yeah, we're all already spent more than we can afford. So that's giving me 36 capacity. What about if I put you on? That gives me 54. That's, yeah, that's plenty. That's a lot more, I think, than our other uh, Bristol English side railway uh, locomotives are carrying. Mediocre performance. That's, yeah, that's okay. I need 6 million, though. Okay, that's it. Uh, no, it was you. It was you okay let's take you and we'll put you on the south wales main line okay then how's he looking looking fine i'm a feeling actually we're using this loco on the Seven Beach Line, possibly. Fine looking loco. Now what I want to do actually, is I want to configure the station so it fits in with my preferred green design. So we're going to need to take away these canopies because they, they just get in the way and confuse me. We need to delete these platforms, put the green one on, yeah, there we go, okay, 
actually there is an empty platform isn't there is, is that you that's no, not oh you're a different thing altogether ah uh, is ah uh, empty there oh oh no you're Ah, oh, you're the empty with the <laughs> you're empty with the underpass. I don't want the underpass there. I wanted well, you are now. You are definitely the underpass, but you're not empty. I think what we need is this one at the very end here. So I need to get rid of you. And stick you there. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, because you don't tend to have quite so much seating all the way along a platform length, do you? So put that in there. And let's get rid of the other side. Uh, we'll put an underpass in here somewhere at some point. That's the underpass there. We'll get rid of you. You. Ah, uh, the trouble is deleting the platforms gets rid of the station building as well. That is rather annoying, but it's what we got to do. And that. We'll get rid of you. We'll get rid of the platform building. Let's pause the game there in case it does anything untoward. And we want the underpass in there. We'll put you actually in there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. The underpass is entirely cosmetic, as we've discussed in uh, in one of my tutorial videos, if you may remember. Uh, but it just adds that that sense of authenticity to uh, to the station. You're colliding with stuff now. That. Ah, <laughs> too big now. What about you? No. Ah. What about the ordinary building? No. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> oh, that's annoying, isn't it? You would have thought if you're replacing like with like now. Yeah, the trouble is these ones don't have street access, so they don't actually connect up like these ones do. Uh, oh. Okay, we're going to have to delete that bus stop. All those bus stops. Possibly even the road. Yeah, let, let's let's do that. Uh, get my station building back in, which is the most important thing. Don't delete the station. Uh, configure. Let's put our buildings back in. Uh, what does this green one look like? I mean, it looks like it should fit, doesn't it? And we'll put the decorative little ones to like that. Uh, Hang on, which ones? Which ones are you? Oh, yeah, they're, they're slightly different. Oh, could I have put you in before without deleting the road? Maybe I've got my sizes mixed up. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. Uh, right, the road. We actually want street. Bit of a bendy thing going on there, but actually, if we delete you for the moment, that works better, I think. And then we need to put the bus stops back. Excellent, so that should now. Yep, that takes care of that. Excellent, we've got passengers already awaiting for our train. And I can pay back some of my loan. Myself, myself, save myself a few pennies. I could do with some canopy here, couldn't I, actually? 
That is a very bold green, isn't it? <laughs> very bold indeed. But I'm, I'm sure it's accurate for the time and place. Right, let's get some canopy on that. Let's finish that station off properly. Uh, can canopy, there you are. That, 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 that. That's okay. How's the other one configured? Where is it? There it is, Lydney. Yeah, you're looking fine. Yeah. Although you have got seats all the way along for such a small station, seems unlikely. There you are. Okay, there might be a bit of an incline issue. Oh, there is an incline issue here, isn't there? Yikes. Yeah, I didn't realise that. What have we got waiting here? One person. <laughs> How's the ferry get doing? Two people. Okay. The ferry's not working quite so well, but... Wow, yeah. Ooh, yikes. Yes. Our train service is doing very well indeed. That could well be profitable by the end of this year, 1893. That's an impressive collection of people there waiting. Uh, Seven Bridge. Now this is kind of interesting, actually. Let's just watch this train come in, actually, before we do anything else. 24 grand, nice. And you're taking somebody back. Splendid. Right, yeah, the interesting thing here about Seven Beach is the number of people that do use this line uh, up to uh, New Passage even though there is a slightly faster train simply going into Seven Beach up from Avonmouth. So yeah, as, as you can see, we've got one line going there, which I think is a slightly faster and more frequent service, and the Seven, and the Bristol and South Wales, which is a, a long-winded route. But it's getting enough passengers, I suspect. How many is it carrying at the moment? I do uh, <laughs> have to remember to uh, move your dialog boxes if you want to keep them pinned to the screen. Let's just uh, manage this train coming in. Just see if we actually manage to achieve profitability on this leg of the journey before we close up this, this episode. Which is quite good actually because we're coming towards the end of 1893 so the next episode should start at the roughly the beginning of uh, 1893. We've got 17 people waiting to go on to New Passage to catch the ferry or go to Pilning, one or other. Ah, I didn't quite make profit. Shame. Shame. But that's looking a lot healthier. Meanwhile, our new train over in Wales with its one passenger has arrived in Chepstow. For eight grand, and he's carrying six onward to Lydney. Right, final check here then before we go away. Oh, interesting. Why, I'm not quite sure why, <laughs> why that industry, the jobs has changed. That's curious. Chepstow, how's that doing? Yeah, we're seeing a rapid uptick here in the growth of the town. 40% it was 20, we looked just before the train started its journey and Caldicott. Oh, it's gone down. Ah, because of uh, emissions. That's a bit of a shame. But again, a nice big uptick in the amount of journeys that people want to make using my services, I imagine. So there we are, I think we will... Oh, okay, I was going to stop at the end of the year, but we're not... Oh, these are some funky-looking trains. They go about 62. So we might be getting into cargo, perhaps, in the next episode. We shall see. Though I am kind of keen to carry on this line across the river and get a bridge across. The old Seven, seven Railway Bridge. Uh, yeah, I think it, it was still... 
it, it was still there until the 1960s and 70s when they demolished it. Um, but it, it, yeah, it did sort of fall out of use, really. Uh, largely because boats kept hitting the the uh, pillars, kept hitting the structure and breaking it. But there you are. So let's finish here, I think, as we head into Lydney on our new Southwest Main Line train. So thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Other than that, of course, even better than that, if you've any thoughts, suggestions, anything to say about the game, or indeed the history of this part of the world when it comes to railways and, uh, and train lines, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye-bye for now.